Punk a punk a baby. Are you okay, sweet pea? What's wrong? You tired? Are you tired? Okay, oh, baby. Give me mommy a kissy. Oh, you so cute. Mm. You be okay, okay? My sweetheart. Yeah, he's sleepy. Yeah, let me turn off the car and talk to y'all. So, um, this thing. I'm about to clean this car out. I'm a big sticker. This, I'm going to have to have my car professionally clean because there's stains and stuff. I try to do it myself, but it's. I think the stains are too, you know. Y'all, my skin is coming back along. I've been having some issues with it. Um, I'm a big stickler on skincare. Um, I need to store, I ordered me some more retinol and collagen, collagen for my skin so I can get it back together. I was going to say, so I'm make sure, I'm going to stop by the grocery store, pick up some groceries. It's early though. And I want to stop by the Dollar General when they open. Um, that JB's thing, y'all, his, his little DNA test. I need to go ahead and mail that off this morning. I think that his is going to be very interesting. I think there's going to be some, some... Uh, actually, I shouldn't say that. I don't think there's gonna be Arab, Arabic blood. It may see, it may be some Jewish in there. So cut away. I actually guess pretty good. This is JB's mix of with 13 different ethnicities. Child, Ethiopian, Jewish. There is some Middle Eastern, and there's like three percent Filipino. I'm very interested to see what's gonna how it's gonna turn out. Y'all, March is gonna be crazy. April's gonna be crazy. I uh, hate Dallas people. Oh, y'all hearing how all the people are coming up here for the eclipse? Baby, they shutting down the schools. April 8th, I believe it is. I told JB, we're going to have a Dolores Claiborne party. <laughs> hey, you guys. It is Tuesday, no, Wednesday morning, 6.13. Trying to get this child up. <sighs> It's going to be a busy, well, it has been a busy month so far. Um, a lot of doctor's appointments. I wanted to get out of the way at the beginning of the year. And now it's the fallout from those appointments. Well, other appointments that are not so urgent, like eye doctor going to uh the dentist and i get so much energy let me go get this boy up so at this age um at any age really but especially at the preteen age it's all about teaching them consequences from their actions so jb wants to be late for school i'm not going to sit up there and scream at you all day so what I do, I tell him two or three times to do something, and then I go in there again. This is for anything, and I say, okay, it's okay if you, you want to be late. That's fine with me. I, I finished school 30 years ago, so and I'm pretty sure he could hear me now. And let him learn that when he's late, that's the consequence. That's on you. That's not me. I work from home. I ain't got to rush to work. You could be late. It's fine with me. I know you heard me, child. Child, my coffee sound. Whew. So y'all, that's nasty. Um, today I have an eye doctor appointment. Now I haven't been to the eye doctor in like, ooh, child, how long has it been? Well, actually I went right before we moved back to Texas. So it's been three years, but I get glasses, new glasses like every year because I have the same prescription. But this time, I think I'm gonna get some contacts. Yeah. I got the feeling that's I know. 
was here last week because he could see him in motion like attitude hormones are on and so i'm like this is him now he has a full-blown attitude at times you know jv's a good kid but i'm like it's not what you say it's how you say it one your attitude it, 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 it. <laughs> um speaking of my father he sent me a message last night saying you know um that my niece is doing a lot better my niece my oldest niece lives back with my parents you guys so i had invited her here like i mentioned in one of my chit chat videos a couple of weeks ago so that she could see how i think it's really important when you are teaching a young adult or even just children to model their behavior so i wanted her here uh, for a week so she can see what is how I run my household as a wife and mother even though and, and a working adult even though my husband's not here so she was looking at things and I'm like wow you know um child there are cops everywhere I don't need no another damn ticket and so the last day though I had a come to Jesus meeting with her and y'all oh y'all sorry my thing is is dirty I'm sorry sorry about that y'all and look i'm a type of person i don't hold anything back i'm very honest but i say it from a place of love and so i told her i said let me tell you something i'm gonna be very honest with you but please know that everything that i say is from a place of love so i'm just really honest with her you know I told her, I said, you wouldn't last, you wouldn't last, you wouldn't last a few weeks with me living here. And so she was like, what? I thought that I was supposed to be relaxing here. I, what is this about? I thought, I thought that I was on vacation. I said, you are relaxing. You sitting here, you ain't doing nothing. You are relaxing here, but I'm, I'm gonna let you know. I said, you are living in a almost delusional world to where, cause let me tell y'all something y'all. She's young, she's 25, but she's also a mother back home now. Anyway, um, let me turn on the light here. Can y'all see me? It's a little blurry. So child, long story short, I was telling my niece when she was here, I said, um, you wouldn't last here because even though you're not doing anything that's bad per se, you're not doing anything. 
So I said, let me tell you something. Um, there's no reason why my why that house, meaning my parents' house, is not spotless, not clean, and you you cooking, having food cooked. And so she's like, I have tried to cook that, but they don't like the food I cook. Well, then you cook what they want to eat. Like, you're not doing anything else. And so the thing that kind of ticked me off, because she was getting that little attitude, and she's like, so you mean to tell me that I should clean up after able-bodied adults? And I'm like, I looked at her, I'm like, you're not doing nothing else. You're not working. You're not going to school. So yes, I think that you should clean up after able-bodied adults. You're not paying any bills. Like, that's the least you could do. Y'all, it doesn't make any sense. My mom is working full time. My dad is retired and he has a back injury. So yeah, you should be helping your grandparents by cleaning up the entire house. So I'm like, yeah, I, I think you should do that. I said, so because if you were here, I would have made you sign a contract. If you ever lived with me, first of all, it ain't happening. But I would have made you sign a contract, 60 days. She started smiling, smirking, not smiling. She was smirking. I said, I'm dead serious. I said, 60 days, and you would have to have a plan. So what, what are you doing? We could extend that contract if I see that you're doing something. But if you're not doing anything, I mean, like, what is she doing? I ain't got nothing here. She had her little journals and stuff, and she's writing stuff down. She's manifesting. She has her to-do list of things she wants to do. One day, she was back there. I'm like, what are you doing, Shia? Oh, I was looking at mansions, and I'm like... Meanwhile, her baby is sitting there, hasn't been changed. I say, your priority is this baby. And so you're, what you need to be doing, number one, get a job, get a car. Number three, move the hell out of your, your grandparents' place so that you can get it together. So, and I'm like, this doesn't make any sense because there are people, and I didn't tell her this, but... There are people that are her age that don't have any kids or that have multiple kids, has more than one kid, and they're making it. They're doing what they have to do. And I'm like, you can't just be sitting here writing in a journal and manifesting mansions. I said, look, she even had to nerve to ask me what, what would be the upkeep of a mansion. I'm like, let me tell you something. So my father sent me a message last night. He's like, hey, um... Hey, Vivian. Oh, Viv. They call me Viv. He said, hey, Viv. Um, so, you know, Shy is doing good. Thank you so much for spending time with her, for her being up there. We can see a difference. I'm like, okay, good. I said, good, because I'm going to be up there next week, too. I'm going to be up there next week. Hey, y'all. I look cute, don't I? I'm out of my appointment. It's loud, y'all. I'm out of my appointment. I'm here at Chick-fil-A to get me a grilled grilled chicken sandwich because we on that look. My clap my 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 clavicle is like real archy. Like man, we gonna I'm so silly, y'all. But why did the um optometrist is like He was checking my eyesight. He's like, it may be time for bifocals. I'm like, first of all, Tran, <laughs> we're not here for bifocals. I'm here for four uh, uh, contacts. He's like, you, so even, even when I said that right, he's like, okay, so we know how they do. They do one, two. One. Sure. Mm -hmm. They're like, one, two, one, two, one. You know, you have to figure out which one is which, right? After all that, he's like, okay, so this one is with bifocals. This one's like, he said, so this is how it look like if you got bifocals. That, but I didn't ask you to do it. Hold on, y'all. Uh-huh. Here you go. Awesome. You have a good one. Thank you. She's supposed to say my pleasure. I'm going to write them a letter and say she didn't say my pleasure. Hey, y'all. And here is my salad I'm putting together here. I have, it's a lot. I have romaine. I have carrots, cheese, um, avocado, a little bit of green onion. Sorry, purple onion, tomatoes. We have cucumbers. I'm going to top that with some tortilla strips. I don't know if I want to use the Caesar dressing by Panera or creamy salsa by Chick-fil-A. I don't know, but my uh, steak is in the refrigerator marinating, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put everything on. 
I'm going to cook. It's around 430. I'm going to wait another 30 minutes or so. Cook the meat. Um, I'm going to make it well done, child. Not eating well. Well done. And yeah, I'll see the leftovers tomorrow for some tacos or another salad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So here is the final product, you guys. This was, this is gonna be so good. Um, yeah, it's all done. I pour myself a little drink, aka cranberry juice. And yeah, we're gonna dig in. Thank you so, thank y'all so much for watching. Take care. Bye.